So what I have given you so far is a snapshot of where we've come from, the things that we're doing. What are the challenges that lie ahead? Well, technology. We must continue to embrace technology, as I've already said. Judge management, I see it as continuing to ramp up. That will necessarily involve the appointment by government of lawyers who are able to respond appropriately to the demands of judge management. Coupled with this is that judges now have, I believe, higher expectations of the lawyers running the cases before them and the barristers appearing in the cases. I would politely put you on notice that that is very much the expectation of judges. ADR and mediation will continue to be the way to go. Another phenomenon that didn't exist 10 years ago is judicial education. You might recall judges were appointed after their career, usually at the bar, they would go onto the bench and they were assumed to be an omniscient being and they didn't need any further training, development or improvement. That has changed. I have the pleasure to chair the Judicial College of Victoria and many uh, practitioners and members of the bar come and join with judges and help to lift our level of education in the law and also practical matters, cultural matters, a whole gamut of things. So different. I really think that Sir John Young um, 30 years ago would have been quite stunned, if not shocked, to realise that there was an expectation that he would attend five days judicial education training each year. And that is what we do. Continuing professional development, the same as the obligations that you now have. And so judicial leadership is something that continues to be a challenge for us in the Supreme Court. We, through some of the matters that I've taken you through this afternoon, endeavour to lead the other jurisdictions, but also to provide leadership to the profession. We continue to face the challenge of obtaining adequate resources and facilities. It is absolutely essential, as I said a short while ago, that the Supreme Court, the highest court of the state, be appropriately resourced. We must have enough judges to be able to match it with our interstate and federal counterparts. We all must also must have the facilities, but in particular technology.